Hi, let's look at the liveness analysis of a variable. So the main purpose of doing this liveness analysis is one is for register allocation. Okay. And the second is a dead code elimination, a register allocation and dead code elimination. Okay. Now, what do I mean by register allocation is let us assume that we have a program. Okay. Let us say we have many statements in a program see these are not the basic blocks we'll do the basic block analysis also later for now i'm thinking that these are just the statements okay statements in a program right and say we are executing this particular statement this one all right and this particular statement is, is assume that this particular statement is saying that x equal to y plus 1 okay so before you execute this particular statement the value of the variable y has to be fetched from the memory into the registers whenever we execute a program we try to store the variables in the registers both for reading purpose as well as writing purpose okay now we have to get the variable y from the memory and store it in the registers okay there lies the problem in any in any computer the number of registers are generally limited but in a program the number of variables can be any number so if you compare the number of variables that are used in a program to the number of registers that are available in a computer uh, you can see that the number of registers are very very less compared to the number of uh, variables available in the program so we can't put all the variables in the registers i'll just take an example and i show you assume that we have four registers r1 r2 r3 r4 okay and by the time we reach this particular statement in the program let us assume that already r1 is allotted to variable a and r2 is allotted to variable b r3 is allotted to variable c and r4 is allotted to variable d okay and now suddenly we want a variable y and the variable y is in the memory and it has to be now kept in the register okay now the problem is which of these resistors are you going to spill so spill means uh, take the variable and store it back in the uh, register and then you are going to get the variable y from the memory into the register right so how are you going to decide which variable is going which register is going to be allotted to the y okay and it is very important because depending on your decision in future more number of reads and writes will happen now here live liveness analysis is going to be helpful now let us say we have done the liveness analysis and we found out that variable a b and c are live at this point try to observe it carefully it is somewhat a difficult concept I try to I'll try to simplify it as much as possible but you have to be very careful here okay so I'm saying that at this point a B and C are found to be alive or live how did I find find it by doing liveness analysis now what does this mean is that a B and C may be used in the statement or somewhere in future these values may be required that is the concept of you know uh, liveness of a variable again so if i say a b and c are live at this point it means that a b and c may be required while executing this particular statement or it may be required in future somewhere in the program got it in that case what we should do is we should try to preserve this we should try to uh, you know keep them in the registers as long as possible now a b and c are already allotted registers r1 r2 and r3 
and D we found out that D is not in the live list which means D is dead therefore we take the uh, that particular dead variable and we spill it which means we will write it back to the register I mean to the memory if it is required at, the, at a future point otherwise if it is not required at all in the future that is what the live is saying right it is saying that it is not at all required in the future in that case you need not save the value in the memory also you can just let it go what does it mean the value of uh, you know D is computed but it is not required anywhere in the program therefore you can simply overwrite on the register without saving the value to the memory got it in that case we are going to allot register r4 to y then for this particular statement the code generated by the compiler will be move y to r4 and then add 1 to y and then store that particular value to x that is how the code will be generated got it so once the registers are decided then the code will be generated depending on the register which is allotted right this is one case now luckily we we found out that you know one variable is dead and that is how we are able to uh, use that variable that particular register right let us say if all the variables a b c and d are live and also y is live because y is needed here okay that part we'll see later for now assume that y is required then what we should do is see all the variables are required in future and we definitely have to allot one variable one register to y right now because this is the current need okay it is on demand okay now in that case what happens is we randomly pick one of these randomly means you can that there can be any algorithm for picking you randomly pick one of these uh, registers and we do spilling spilling means let us say this register is now allotted to y then we have to save a value to the memory let us say main memory or ram whatever and y value has to be stored here a value is you know thrown out and y is being fetched this is called as spilling okay so we have thrown out the a and we got y back and y will be here got it and now for now this statement will be executed but we have seen that definitely a is live which means in in future it will definitely be asked somewhere so which means let us say some something is like this in future now when we reach here this statement again at this statement we do live variable analysis which means at every statement we do live variable analysis and then we will find out what are all the variables that are live at that point and then we'll see which variable to allot to that particular variable which register to allot to that particular variable now I assume that at this point uh, y b c d are there in the registers and y b c are found to be alive at this point now what does it mean we need a we need to allot a register to a and d is dead right in that in, at that point we can over you know you can overwrite d with y got it so that is why live variable analysis is helpful in register allocation got it so liveness of a variable so now if you if you observe it when is a variable live is at a statement let us say n a variable is live if it is used in that particular statement or if it is used somewhere down the lane and there are no definitions for it during that line okay i'll just give you the definition and again we come back to the example okay now let's look at the formal definition of the liveness of a variable we say that a variable v is live at a statement n if there exists a path okay so what is a path if you look at the control flow graph generally the flow is nothing but the path okay if there exists a path in the uh, control flow graph from this statement to a statement m such that v is used in m and for each 
line k from n to m it is not defined okay so i'll i'll explain it with the example okay so what it means is uh, if if you have a variable if you are standing at a line n okay at that particular line n a variable is said to be live if from that particular line if you are able to reach a line another line where it is used and in between there should not be any definitions okay i'll i'll tell you that uh, with an example okay next thing is or a variable is live at a statement if it is used at that statement okay let's take an example and let's see that okay what that definitions actually mean so assume that we have few lines in a program like this they're all lines okay i'll i'll write some variables inside these lines and assume that the control flow is like this after this particular statement this one is executed and then this one and then this one and then this one okay now we are standing at this point okay at this point whatever variables are used they are all live for example if you have a equal to b plus c got it then both b and c are used here their values are used so b comma c are live got it now in this program there can be any number of variables got it assume that in this program all the variables we have are a b c d e right so a b and c are live at this point in this statement because they are used now what about a is it live whenever there is a definition and if there is no use in this statement it is dead okay so a is dead here okay this is the only exception that you might have to remember in the entire analysis wherever you see a definition that particular variable is dead why because whatever value a was having earlier is not useful now from this point that is why it is dead which means the earlier value of a is not useful in, in this statement therefore a is dead now even though you have only a b and c only these three variables in this statement you should not do only three variable analysis okay you should do all the line all the variable analysis i am not able to make it clear what i mean to say is at every point you have to do the liveness analysis for all the variables not just for the variables which are present in that particular line okay some people think that if a variable is not defined at that point why are we analyzing that particular variable we should be only sticking to that particular variable no because the other variables may be defined somewhere else in the program and that value may be used somewhere else in the program and in this flow you might have to save these val these variables you might have to save okay these va these values keeping the future in mind in this line these may be useless but if they are used somewhere else down the lane then the registers allotted should be kept intact what i mean to say is at this point d and e are not used okay assume that at some other point a line is like this d plus one is like this okay now that first definition says that even though d is not used here there is a path from this statement to this statement where it is used and let us say d is not defined here or here which means we don't have any statements like this d equal to 
okay in that case since d is being used right we can say that d is also live are you getting this now let us assume that some line is there like e equal to is here okay or e is not used anywhere from here till here then in that case e is dead got it so to simplify it whenever a particular variable is used in a statement that particular variable is live what do i mean by use it should be on the right hand side not on the left hand side okay if variables are on the right hand side we say they are used if the variable is in the left hand side we say it is defined okay so from this statement we can directly say b and c are live and from this statement we can directly say that d is live here okay d is live at this point it is also live at this point it is also live at this point it is also live at this point therefore all these four points put together is life of d getting this so let us assume that the control flow is such a way that from here there may be a if statement or some other statement which is taking the control flow to here okay and let us say from somewhere this is also being used okay now if you observe it d is being used but at this point from this point we can't reach d therefore d is dead we can't say that d is live there are you getting it so there should be a use somewhere in the program and we should be reaching that particular point okay so let us say this is like this there should be use somewhere in the program and we should be able to reach uh, from this statement to that statement and also on the way there should not be definitions for d let us say a statement is like this d equal to then what happens now from this statement before we reach the use it is again defined therefore this particular new value will be used here and old value whatever is available here will not be used there so d is dead okay so blindly remember it as a rule whenever there is a definition it is going to kill the variable okay the variable will be dead there right see now d is dead here at this point d is dead here and d is dead here because even if you have a uh, you know definition then we consider it as dead got it and again d is live here at this point d is live right so this is how you should analyze uh, the liveness of a variable but there is a problem here now whatever examples i have taken so far are all programs and we are doing liveness analysis at every statement in the program right and therefore we are able to say at a particular statement whether a variable is live or dead but this kind of analysis will not be done in the compilers okay why because in a compiler if you have to analyze the liveness at every statement it is going to take hell a lot of time then what will compiler do is it is going to divide the entire program into basic blocks okay basic blocks let us say basic block number one right and then basic block number two and then basic block number three right and it is going to compiler is going to analyze before entering this basic block what are all the variables that are live and after leaving the basic block what are all the variables that are live and it does not care about exactly what are all the variables that are live inside the block okay so this is why it is confusing the reason is 
for theoretical explanation purpose we are going to use a program and we are going to analyze line by line therefore you follow this method whenever the question is asked in gate by giving the lines in the program got it but in a compiler it can't do line by line analysis because there might be millions of lines and so it will do block by block analysis where it will compute before this block what are all the variables that are live that is also called as live in okay and it will also compute after the basic block what are all the variables that are live so this is also called as live out okay so in gate they might give you questions like this they and they might ask you which variable is live at this statement got it and you can directly do it we'll solve some examples you will be very confident you will be very comfortable in this method okay and the second kind of questions that might come is they might give you basic blocks and in a basic block they can't ask you a question like what are all the variables that are live inside this particular basic block they can't ask you that because in a basic block itself for few lines a variable may be live and for few lines a variable may be dead it can both be live as well as dead in the same basic block right that is why they will ask you what are all the variables that are live coming in, in into the basic block what are the variables that are live going out of the basic block right and what will compiler do is it will it will compute all this and before executing the basic block it will see what are all the variables required and it will try to allot the resistors to all those variables got it so this kind of questions you need not have any algorithm or anything you can directly answer for this kind of questions we have to follow an algorithm which is used in compilers and then you have to compute in and out so that is a small algorithm uh, it is not very difficult if you practice well you will be able to answer these questions also in 2 to 3 minutes okay